Okay, so we have an interesting question here, and it says the period of a simple pendulum of length 80 cm was found to have doubled when the length of the pendulum was increased by x. Then it says calculate x, and then we have some options here. So this question is actually uh, talking about the period and the length of a simple pendulum. So this formula here connects the period and length of a simple pendulum. In fact, this is how to calculate the period of a simple pendulum. You have your T standing for period, the L standing for the length of the string, and your G uh, standing for the um, acceleration due to gravity. But we have to get the relationship between the period and the length of that string in the simple pendulum. So using the horizontal test, we know that T is directly proportional to the square root of the length using the horizontal test and then we can convert this to an equation we will now have t equals to we have to introduce the constant k equals k times root l we are not stopping here then we now um, find the value of k by dividing both sides by root l so divide here by root l and then divide here by root l so root l cancels root l my k will now be equal to k will now be equal to t over root l. So this t over root l is my constant. Then we have to duplicate this by having t1 over root l1 then equal to t2 over root root l2. So now we have gotten the exact equation that connects the complexity of this question. So from the question we now have our, we can get our T1 and T2 and our L1 and L2 and then after solving and converting to an equation we can now easily get our value for X. So let's get the T1 first since we know this is the formula we're using now. Our T1 or let's read the question again. The period of a simple pendulum of length 80 centimeter. Our first length is L1. So L1 is 80 centimeter was found to have doubled say the period of length 80 centimeter with pendulum of length 80 centimeter was found to have doubled that means the period t1 was actually just t it wasn't doubled yet then the t2 is now when it is doubled that's 2t because it said the period of a simple pendulum of length 80 centimeter which is t was found to have doubled which is now 2t when the length of the pendulum was increased by x that means our l2 will now be 80 plus x because they said when the length was increased by x so it becomes 80 plus x and then we fix into the equation so fixing into the equation my t1 is just t over my root l1 that's root 80 equals t2 is 2t over root l2 that will be root l2 is 80 plus x 80 plus x then we can now cross multiply so cross multiplying we now have 2t times root 80 gives me 2t root 80 equals t times root 80 plus x gives me t root 80 plus x and then i can say t cancels out this t i have just 2 root 80 equals just root 80 plus x then i can square both sides to get rid of the square root sign square here and also square here to get rid of this square root sign so I have 2 root 80 raised to the power 2. That will be 2 root 80 times another 2 root 80. Of course, we know this is simple sort. So we now have 2 times 2, 4. Then 4 times, 4 times, root 80 times root 80 is just 80. Because you now have, you have root 6,400. And the square root of 6,400 Will give me 80 so that 4 times 80 gives me 320 or you can just use your calculator to get to make your work easy so 2 root 80 times 2 root 80 gives me 320 
so this alone gives me 320 equals then these two cancels out this root from law of indices so we now have 80 plus x alone without the root sign now then collect like times then 320 then plus 80 becomes minus 80 leaving your x alone then you have 320 minus 80 gives me 240 equals x so you see x equals 240 centimeters so that's what we have as our option d so that's it's very simple